Hello guys. Today I will be sharing you the upgrade process for Linux Mint. I will be upgrading from Linux Mint 21.3 to Linux Mint 22. For this upgrade, Linux Mint has been dealing with really high loads that have caused connection failures, as well as errors when trying to download. This may no longer be an issue now, but it would not hurt to do a simple additional step to circumvent this possibility. What we would need to do is switch to the Fasti servers. They are specifically designed for high load and high availability. What you would need to do is to open the terminal and add the required server addresses. First type the following command. We are basically opening a file with elevated privileges to add the server we want. In this file, we need to search for the line that contains Virginia main with import backport. Here, we can see that it is this line. What we would need to do is make it HTTPS and replace this part like so. Then we save the file and exit. After that, you would need to run a repository sync update. Just type sudo apt update. Now you are using the Fastly servers. For doing the actual system upgrade, you will need to install the upgrade program. Simply run the following command. sudo apt install int upgrade. Before we actually run the program, I would like to update my system first. This is a normal update and it will not upgrade our system to Mint 22. I would reboot after these updates are done. After restarting, we need to open the actual update program with sudo privileges. We simply type sudo mint upgrade. A new graphical program will pop up. This is the Linux mint upgrade program. When we arrive here, click on let's go. This is phase one and here it will perform a series of tests to prepare your system for the new upgrade. After the tests are complete, it will prompt you for a time shift backup. Time shift will back up any of the required system files in your applications. Let it run for a bit. Here you can choose your storage. I will stick to the defaults. Click Next. Click Next here as well. Here as well. And then Finish. Now click on Create. This is a one-click process, so let it run its course. In conjunction, I would also highly recommend you back up your personal files. I usually back up my documents, images and videos on an external drive. In case anything goes wrong in the upgrade process, you can easily roll back using the snapshots. After it's done, close out time shift and you will see the next phase. Phase 2. Simply click OK. Now we will list out all the changes that will be made, what new programs that will be added that are required from in 22 and programs that need to be removed as they won't be required by your new system. If you wish, you can go through the programs and see if everything is correct. After you're done reading, simply start the upgrade process. It will first download all the required packages and then install them. The process has begun. This will take some time to complete. I would get a tea or a coffee and let this run. If everything is done right, you will be met with the screen where it says that the upgrade was successful. All you have to do now is close the program and reboot. This is Linux Mint 22 codenamed Wilma. Most of this is the regular stuff that you've seen in all Linux Mint installs before. This is the new element client where users can get help from the community. 
and on the last tab on the menu is the contributions page. Let's open up a terminal and check out the new changes that have been made. First, let's check out the kernel. Here we can see that we are running kernel 6.8. We are also running the Cinnamon desktop environment. The version 6.2.7. This version of Linux Mint will be supported until 2029. What I want to check out next is the new software manager. In their update notes, the Linux Mint team have talked a lot about how their new software manager application is much faster, with their optimizations made, and the fact that it is now multi-threaded. As I go through the different pages, it does feel much faster than when I used it in older versions. I can also see that Flatback is working out of the box with FlatHub integration. You can also choose to use the regular Debian packages if you want. They also added a new feature where unverified packages are not shown. This may be an issue as a lot of the popular Flatback packages are unverified. By unverified, it means that the developers did not package the program themselves. If you have Flatback packages from members of the open source community that you trust, then you can enable it here. They will show up at the bottom of the search results. Let me show you how that would look like. I know that a version of Chrome is not packaged by Google and it should show up as unverified. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see Chrome is listed as unverified. I believe that the Linux Mint team is still retaining Thunderbird as a dev package. Here you can see the Debian package and we can see that it is pre-installed. Here is the Flatback version available from FlatHub. As I go through the pre-installed applications, I don't see anything new. It's the usual set of applications bundled with Cinnamon. One of the things in their update notes is they mentioned their new search feature as well as new revamped look to their startup manager. Another thing they mentioned was sticky note position. Cinnamon can now choose a default spawn point for the sticky notes. Here you can see the various positions you can place the notes. They have also switched the sound server from Pulse Audio to Pipewire. Pipewire is considered to work better with multimedia devices. When it comes to under the hood changes, we saw a major bump up to kernel 6.8. This version of the kernel saw many security updates, but mostly it was the device hardware compatibility update. So now more systems can run Linux Mint. Also, they did add support for the new Intel XC driver. They have also made optimizations to Plymouth and the login screen greeter when dealing with high DPI screens. In this version update, we did not see any major changes, but we did see a lot of under the hood additions. The software manager being faster, labeling of unverified flatbacks and the change in kernel. The upgrade process is very straightforward and as expected, everything works well. This has been my video on Linux Mint 22. Thank you for watching and have a great day.